Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new Absolver video. We like your hell cut. And yes, of course, that intro was totally not stolen from another Absolver YouTuber. Well then, let's get right into it. So to start off, I am gonna be a monk in this episode. Hello, Aaron. This guy is pretty good at the game. He's in one of my matches, I already recorded some, and I'm just gonna redo the intro for like the fifth time now because I suck at talking. So anyway, Mirror Moss, this is one of the few items that you can buy in the Essence Shop now since the latest patch. It is pretty nice mask, it mirrors people as you can maybe see a reflection of Eren in it. He's squatting and shit. And it also breaks itself and fixes itself right after in the animation. As you... Come on, can you break please? There we go, it broke itself and is fixing itself slowly. That is to represent how a Sholem monk trains. All you have to do is hit your skull with your palms for two hours every day to harden it. Bang your head against a sandbag for two hours to train it to resist the shock of an attack. The iron neck exercise consists simply of hanging by the neck from a cloth noose. We also have the shaman elbow the shaman undertop and the shaman pants this is part of the new shaman set but without the whole outfit it looks like a monk suit plus with these sandals it looks pretty cool and then you have the shabu god belt just to finish off the outfit i think this looks pretty neat now let's get into the style and deck so the style that i'll be using is cult and that's because no other style will match a shaolin monk apart from cult cult is taking damage and just ignoring it and that's what literally Sholin monks do so with that in mind i made a deck based around how they fight now all these moves aren't completely Sholin monk style but it captures the essence of how they fight basically this deck is made to attack your opponent in very strong attacks and just to ignore the stamina completely like with a few attacks you can completely destroy your opponent's stamina especially like with the super heavy ones like these ones so let's start with the top right stance so the top right stance starts with a curled uppercut crouching elbow and a jump spin kick now jump spin kick isn't really such a great move but it just looks cool and i really love the move just how the guy freezes in the air for a half second now this uppercut is really great on cult just because you can absorb and interrupt a lot of moves with it Crouching elbow is just a setup for the jump spin kick and the jump spin kick can be altered into this which is the complete opposite direction. You can also feint it to do a fast attack. Now the top right stance goes into the bottom right stance. The bottom right stance starts with wall of blow, goes into Oromawashi and then wind back kick. Wind back kick isn't such a great move but I like how it looks plus I want to use at least one of the stopping attacks just because it's meta. Wall of blow is really great if you know how to use it. When you are facing your opponent with a back stance you walk backwards much faster than you do walking forwards and vice versa. Let's say your opponent is walking towards you. You can hit him, walk back, hit him, walk back, hit him, walk back. But obviously you need to know the distance to use Wallow Blow correctly. Now this goes into Orumawashi, which is a strong kick and it's quite fast. It does 88 damage. It's just a very nice attack. Very nice. And then into win back kick to just finish off the combo. Or you can just, you know, alternate attack. Also, the alternate attack after Wall of Blow instead of Orumawashi is Drunken Smash. This is a complete... It's the same direction, but it's a complete different speed to Rumawashi. So if you're facing someone who is prepared to dodge or absorb or whatever, your Rumawashi, you can drunk and smash. Or if you're playing against someone really defensive, then this dance goes into the bottom left stance. And bottom left stance starts with under knee kick, and then it goes into stretch out hook and into leg breaker. Leg breaker is a very strong attack that you can use to break an enemy stamina or just damage him a lot now same thing like wall of blow you can spam the underneath kick as you can see like i'm doing to spam these attacks you just need to walk back for one of a second as soon as you see your person just step for just a little bit you can attack now the thing about stretch out hook is such a great move to have like in the middle or at the start just because of how many 
advanced hit frames it has and what speed it has. So that's just 5 advanced on hit frames which is perfect for an attack like leg break or sidekick. Well, but of course sidekick is in a different stance and it's not as good as leg breaker in this stance just because of the starting attack. See this is advanced on 4, this is advanced on hit 4 and this is advanced on hit 5. So it just goes like that. Also the alternative attack to leg breaker if an opponent is already expecting it you can jar bash which is a very fast attack oh that's a nice one. Oh yeah guys jar is cool if you want to use any deck i make in the fab solo series just go up to this guy just bam whatever you press find school and type in lha let me show you now validate boom you see my school join it become a great person in the school become a disciple whatever get my school rank up it's already 76 i want to see that number one because the current leaderboard isn't looking too good all of these people are in a the number one person is an npc come on man so you guys if you're missing some moves you can easily learn them by joining my school learning the styles that i use and just supporting me in general and finally this dance goes into top left which starts with hook goes into sidekick and then backfist backfist is quite a newly updated move that does a lot of damage and is quite fast to be honest i just really like the animation and the sound it makes it just sounds like it's hitting someone really hard which i want to capture with this build because you're not really wearing much clothes so your damage is going to be higher than normal anyways plus with these heavy hitting attacks just sounds like you're a beast and you actually do a lot of damage like you will see it later on in the video now the great thing about hook is what you'll see a lot in this video is that you can attack wait for an opponent to do something or move back and attack again this move is very fast as you can see it's like one of the highest one of the fastest moves in the game it does 78 damage and it's just a very nice animation now there are a few things you should know about this deck is that spinning flute swing has a 2.5 meter range so when you're standing quite far away from your opponent let's say like distance i think it's around here you can activate it and that will do a lot of damage you will see me use this technique in this video as well let's see your opponent isn't expecting you to do anything or is expecting you to do like a very light attack from a distance and you just come out with a spinning flute swing just to finish him off or to start your combo and with that let's get right into the battle He's panicking. Oh my god, god damn, I should have just blocked. Does he intend to beat me with just the side staggers? It's working! <laughs> and he's cheesing back! How can he? You cannot cheese a cheeser. You get double cheese.
I was so close. Oh, another bunk. What? That was like... So, what? I'm tilted. That should not have happened. Cha! Okay, I need to concentrate like a monk would. I wanted to faint it. Faint it too late though. Okay, to beat him now, I need to really inflict a lot of damage early, so I'll start with this with a guard break. Oh yeah. It's working. I would prefer if he would block. There we go. Nice. Nice. <laughs> He got caught off guard, he didn't know what to do because I was going to ham on him. Come on, Hanger, you think you can get the hang of this fight? I don't think so. And over! Just one round, that's all I need. Oh! No! Oh my god! I'm so close! Fucking Eren! Come on, man! It's fucking Earthquake Cheezer! That's all you do is Earthquake and parry a few times in a match, but it's mostly Earthquakes. Uh, I cannot forgive you for the Earthquakes. I'm gone Super Saiyan. One round, okay. Two more rounds. We might win this. I doubt it though, because even though I won this round, he had less than half. I think he had half health, right? Well, now I have half health and I have no heal. Okay, he's mad. He's definitely mad. Oh! I got excited just for that one thing. I managed to fade my other ability and cause me to lose. God damn it. Aaron! I will defeat you one day. Today might not be the day. But today is the first step to defeating you. Oh, what the f- Okay, this guy's reaction time is very good. Man, it's like Royal Solidus, but for EU. Hmm. 